got me a donation for Bjorn Rune Nilsson. You know Bjorn Rune Nilsson. The guy's awesome. And he wanted me to put my top 20 Queen songs. Now, this is what I did. I went on the computer. I went on that Google thing. And I wrote in Queen Discography. And I went through every single album and wrote down here like the, my favorites off these out al each album, right? And uh, yeah, I mean, look, I have a couple honorable mentions, but I'll tell you this right now: there's some great songs that didn't make my list, and I'll I'll give you some like uh, "Get Down, Make Love." It's late. Um, Let me entertain you. Uh, there's a few other ones that are great songs, but. The ones that really hurt for me to leave off the top 20 are Sleeping in the Sidewalk. I love the hell out of that song. I wish it could have made it. Uh, Brighton Rock. Love the hell out of that song. Killer Queen. Extremely special song because I owned the 45 as a kid. And I still love that song to this day, Killer Queen. But it didn't make my top 20. And now I'm here. Those are the songs that hurt the most. To not put on the list. But there's plenty. White Man's a great song. Tie Your Mother Down didn't make my list. They're all great songs. But this is my top 20. And I stick by it. Because I wrote all these songs that I painstakingly. Ooh. Wrote down, you know, what's what. Alright. Number 20 off the first album. Liar. I love that song. Almost didn't make the list. All the way down at 20. But it's a great, great song. I love Liar. Number 19 from the first album again. Great King Rat. Why can't I have I love it. Great. That first Queen album is probably the heaviest Queen album. Alright, at number 18, going all the way to the last Queen album. Uh, well, the last Queen album with Freddie Alive. The Show Must Go On. Gorgeous song. I don't think that was supposed to be Freddie's Goodbye. Freddie's Goodbye song is on my list. But Show Must Go On ended up being Freddie's Goodbye because he lived longer, I think, than he thought he would. All right. And number 17, a Brian May song off of uh, Day, not Day in the Race, it's Night of the Opera, 39. Love that song. Love the hell out of it. It's fucking awesome. Love it. 39. At 16, Freddie's final song was supposed to be his final song. Was it all worth it from the miracle? What a great, perfect, heavy tune. Absolutely love that song. Uh, very underrated, man. Probably one of the most underrated Queen songs. That, that song should be well known, man, but uh, it's just the way it is, huh? All right, at number 15, a gorgeous ballad off of uh, News of the World, Spread Your Wings. God, I love Spread Your Wings. What a great damn tune that is. Love those vocals, man. Freddie was amazing. At number 14, this is a surprise one for a lot of you out there. You might not expect this to be on anybody's list. But it made it to my 14, and it is a Brian May sung song, and it is my favorite song. Of Day at the Races and extremely underrated. Long away. That song is just gorgeous. And other than a, a duet, that's the last Brian song. God, I love that song. All right, at number 13, probably one of the heaviest. It's up there. Yeah, it's one of the heaviest Queen songs ever. Off of Jazz, Dead on Time. Another song not very talked about. Damn, that song smokes, man. Heavy as hell. I love it. Dead on Time at number 13. At number 12, another very heavy song, and I'm going to mispronounce it. Uh, or Great Battle off of uh, Queen 2. It's like proto-thrash. It's so amazing. I absolutely love it. Uh, at number 11, off the last Queen album with Freddie Alive, the title track, Innuendo. It's just amazing. Cash, Cash Mirror, she's at Zeppelin. You know that Robert Plant singing at the Freddie Mercury tribute? Innuendo's amazing. 
definitely uh, deserves to be up there in my least 11 at number 10. This baffled me how this song did not explode because Queen, you know, Queen America, you know, after the game, you know, with Hot Space and the works and kind of magic, didn't really get anything going in America, you know, and the works. But man, I want it all. That song should have been humongous when it came out. It wasn't, and it just baffles me because it's a perfect damn song. Made it all the way to my top 10. I want it all off the Miracle. And there's two versions. There's the Miracle version and there's that single version. I can't tell you which one I like more. I love them both the same. All right. Uh, number nine, gorgeous, gorgeous song. Love of my life. I prefer really the live one with the audience. Any live version with the audience singing is just amazing. But there's nothing wrong with that studio version. Either one, Live Killers or this version. Just amazing. Love my life. Absolutely love it. When I saw Queen with Adam Lambert, who was very disturbing to look at, but when they played Love My Life, it was Brian May on acoustic and Freddie Mercury on the big screen. Oh, man. I got the chills that, during that part of the, uh, of the show. All right, number eight. Oh, another one that's not talked about, man. Heavy, awesome, off the first album, Sons and Daughters. Man, people bring up Great King Rat and Liar before Sons and Daughters. Sons and Daughters, to me, is the best song off the album. Yes, Keep Yourselves Alive, Doing All Right. I love those songs, too, but they didn't make the my list. And Modern Day Rock and Roll, another fertile thrash tune, didn't make my list. But, man, Sons and Daughters made my list because it's my favorite song off the first Queen album. Absolutely love it. At number seven. Another proto thrash song, and hey, Metallica covered it. Stone Cold Crazy. What an awesome, heavy, killer fucking tune. You know, it's just amazing. It's supposed to be in my top, top seven, totally. All right, number six is a tie. It's uh, because they're, these two songs are they're together on the album, on Sheer Heart Attack. Uh, tournament Funster, Funster and Flick of the Wrist. Awesome, awesome tune. Tunes up. It's a ripoff. Flick of the wrist. God, I love the hell out of it. Number six. And number five. Oh, my God. This may be the last one of the later albums. What a gorgeous song. With Brian singing with Freddie, Who Wants to Live Forever. What a gorgeous, gorgeous song. Gives me chills. It's just amazing. And yes, made all the way to my top five. Number four, very underrated tune too. One of my favorites off of uh, uh, Night of the Opera, The Prophet Song. I love The Prophet Song. You know what I also love? I also love uh, um, Bohemian Rhapsody that didn't make my list. Another one I love. But I like The Prophet Song even more. That's my favorite. No, it's not my favorite song off uh, day to raise, Night at the Opera. My favorite song from Night at the Opera is coming up. All right, at number three, off the game, Dragon Attack. What a ripping tune, man. Absolutely love it, and that deserves to be at number three. All right, at number two, top two, from Queen 2. No, not at... Not uh, Night at the Opera. That one's number one. But my second favorite Queen song off my favorite Queen album. My favorite song off my favorite Queen album. The March of the Black Queen. I, I just think it's a masterpiece. I absolutely love the hell out of that song. Seven Seas of Rhymes, another one. Didn't make my list that I love. But there you go. March of the Quack. Now my favorite, all-time favorite Queen song is the song that opens Night at the Opera. And I'm talking about Death on Two Legs. You're tearing me apart. Best Queen song ever, in my opinion. And it's been that way for eons. So, Bjorn, there you go, buddy. That is my top 20 Queen songs. I hope you enjoyed it, brother. 
You rule. You rock. And thank you so much, man. And anybody out there, if you like to donate, feel free. I got a PayPal in the description below. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Ring that little notification bell. Give me your top 20 Queen songs. I'd love to know. And uh, like the video. It's good for the YouTube algorithms. So stay frosty. Listen to Black Sabbath. And smack them on God.